Hey, what's up, man? Hello, this is. Okay. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? What's up, dog? What's up, dog? Yes. Dog. No, you got to do it like this. Like this. Very good, right? Do your hands like, like this. this man. Like this. All right, yeah, and then cross these two. The middle finger and the ring finger, cross them. Like that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make a W. Make a W, yeah. Like, like that. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> be like, what's up? <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, man? Man, man. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, How about this one? Yeah, I mean, you could do that too. Just don't flip people off. <laughs> Yo, yeah. what's up, man? Doke. What's up, Mitch? What's up? How you doing? This is. <laughs> Hi, I've Mitch. Been, I've been okay. This is just, you know, like. Moody, how about you? How are you, how are you feeling? You've been moody? You've been moody. Yes. I'm feeling good. You're feeling good? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right, yes. Right. Like, I'm glad you've been feeling good. This is. Uh -huh. But lately, I just. I don't know why, but I, f I feel lonely, you know? Like, sometimes I just don't understand. Mm -hmm. Like, you've been I feeling lonely? Yeah, like I got friends, I got family, I got my boyfriend, but sometimes I just feel so lonely. I don't know why. A really important thing is that you're honest about it, you know? Like everybody on this planet feels lonely. Like they feel, you know, everybody feels lonely sometimes. But um, you know, they try to they try to drown that out, you know, with partying or like doing drugs or drinking. Mm -hmm. Like when, but like you're not you're not trying to, you know, I, like hide it with anything else you know you're you're, you're in a tough position because you actually have to face your loneliness and when you face your loneliness that's something that scares a lot of people you know that's why i say that you're so brave because you're one of the people that can actually do that you know mm -hmm. um you have to be honest with yourself and you're you're really good at that you're always honest with yourself you know but um yeah you know to feel lonely that's okay you know it's normal we all get lonely it's it's kind of a calling you know to to make remind us that you know this world you know isn't really our home you know there's nothing in the world that will satisfy fire us you know even if you have the best boyfriend or the worst boyfriend or like the best friends or whatever if you're popular or you're not popular like it doesn't matter you know there, there's something outside of this world that we need you know to fill our hearts and to give us peace and to me is is god and i'm thankful that to you it's god too you know yeah. but even knowing god and you still feel alone like that's okay you know it's normal it's part of what makes us human you know but it's part it's just part of what makes us human this is but sometimes mm -hmm. i just feel lonely because i don't prioritize god you know Sometimes like we're too selfish, we rely on ourselves, yeah. you know. And I think we should rely on God 100% for everything. When we don't rely on God, when the people we love die, for example, pass away, like we will lose our world, you know. Yeah. We must feel in despair, but with God, Absolutely, yeah. we can manage it, you know, because God knows what is best for us when human cannot do anything for us you know people can die mm -hmm. you know people all things in this world can die and go away but you know god never dies so i mean it, it there's a verse in the bible too that says you know don't store your treasure here on earth like store it in the eternal you know which is heaven you know with god you know and uh that's the mistake a lot of people make you know they, they want to find uh, define their success or happiness because of the things in this world, but it's never going to last, you know? Like you were saying, even your loved one can die, and that's yes. your whole world, you know? And that could drive people crazy. You know what's sad, Mitch? Sometimes people, like, they like let's say their husband dies or something, like, sometimes they, like, kill themselves, you know, as a wife or as a, as a, as a son, like when their mom dies, like, they go crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. It's understandable, you know, that they're heartbroken, but you know, that, that's not the solution, you know, yeah. that once somebody dies or when something ends, we can't, we can't just like, you know, lose our minds as well, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we just love human more than we love God, right? Like Exactly, yeah, exactly. 
especially mm-hmm. when it comes to like partner in life like wife or husband you know yeah. like absolutely prioritize them more than god and it's wrong it's totally wrong yeah, yeah. like mm-hmm. god that's that's the reason why i told you that god is our lover because it's true like we have spiritually connection with god and it's yeah. really really important it's true like mm-hmm. i know that not all will agree with us you know okay yeah, yeah. no i'm saying uh, that's a really good point you know that like uh not everybody will agree mm-hmm. like how i was telling with you it's because not everybody wants to like face that mirror you know or face the reality like you said um or it, it could be really painful to look at yourself you know and to actually examine the things that are broken within you or like maybe the flaws that you have a lot of people you know rather not accept that you know rather not accept that one day they're going to die one day like the people their loved ones are going to die one day that you know the love that they have for their partner you know won't be maybe it'll go away or whatever you know mm-hmm. but that's why you can't yeah you can't define your love uh based on another that you have a, uh, with another human you know love should come from god how you were like you know alluding to you know like we've been friends for like maybe Two years or one year? Yes. Yeah. I think, uh, I don't really know. I think we're on, I think we're going on two years. I'm not really sure. Two years, right? Yeah. And it was funny yeah. too. It was funny too, like you say to me that you open my videos on YouTube and it's about outbreak. Like you, you search it, and you found my video, and then even though you, you started to follow me, mm. subscribing me, you know. Yeah. And if you think of it, like, can you imagine many, many people made outbreak videos, and you know that that's that's a rare situation where you subscribe to me because of that, you know. Uh outbreak videos i watch and i don't subscribe to the people but like you like i told you i saw i saw one of your camera mods right the videos and then i saw another video of like um i think it was either you singing or a reaction video you know because i was checking out your channel Mm -hmm. and when i saw you like i just saw how like kind of a person you were like i don't know just hearing your voice and like you know I, i i think like um i think like a person's eyes like says a lot about people like that's just me though that's just my opinion i feel like uh yeah like you could learn a lot about somebody just by looking at them you know in their eyes and when i saw you you just looked really nice so you know i just like oh i'll subscribe and like just you know she she's putting out good content so i'll just leave a comment but yeah it's super rare like that shouldn't have happened <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's been good as well because like i made friends on the youtube community because yeah. it's a hobby like it's a hobby for me <laughs> yeah you're good at it too <laughs> you said you're good at it <laughs> yeah very yeah. good <laughs> now it's getting awkward because of the the audio is messed up you know Ooh. yeah sometimes it's just interfere everything you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, i don't know how to, how to fix it like this car is so bad man i think the best way is to like for me to get a webcam and put it on my desktop like how i was telling you and then we could see if that helps because maybe it's discord is just having problems with my mac you know because i don't know apple products are different you know they kind of suck yes yes but yeah so i mean i go on but that's okay for now we can just talk in here you know you can talk in here like you're a funny person but have you ever felt so yes. insecure about yourself this is yeah, for example like your skin color like it's different as you know that when people live in, in america like they they're rather underestimate black people like you're not black yeah but it's like you're rather a tan right your skin is not white and do you think it makes you like feeling so insecure about yourself comparing to white people there like can you tell me about your experience no i cannot hear you i cannot hear you again this is it. 
Now, now I can. Sometimes it's just I can't be able to. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Same. Yeah, I was just saying that. Um, no, never. You know, I never really uh felt insecure about my skin color. Um, sometimes, uh, even Mexicans. You know, I'm Mexican, so even some Mexicans they're born with light skin. You know, but um, you know, where I grew up at, like there were a lot more other Mexicans. So to me, that really helped because. Uh, when I saw other people with brown skin, it was like a normal thing, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not like, it's really tough. Like, you know, if I was a Mexican and I went to an all white, like an all American school, then yeah, I would feel more like an outcast. Or if I was, you know, black and went to an all white school, vice versa, you know? But me growing up around other people, like, you know, other of my race, like, you know, I always just, it was always just normal. You know, I never saw it as a negative thing. Mm -hmm. But also like here in America, like it's not really a yeah it's not really viewed as a bad thing like be like a tanner or a darker skin mm -hmm. like um i know like a lot of in asian countries like even you know there's some people that are born with darker skin you know mm -hmm. and they're they're kind of they they everybody really wants the really pale and white skin you know mm -hmm. but um here in america like no it's like some some uh white white people mitch here in California, since it's by the beach, a lot of them get tanned anyways. So you yeah. see a lot of white people, and they're, like, super tanned. They look orange, though, like Donald Trump. You know, he, he looks orange. He, he They look orange. Like, we just look, like, brown and stuff. Yeah. So, you know, there's really no discrimination based off of, you know, if, you, if your skin color is, like, darker. But mm -hmm. if you are a different race, that's kind of, like, yeah, the people kind of focus more on that, you know? Like, you could be a light-skinned mexican but if you're like with other white people like they'll still probably not like you just because you're mexican so rather your race than your skin color you know what i mean mm -hmm. and sometimes like western like western people like american like white people they they want to get them you know it's funny yeah like, it is they, funny it is funny they're on the yeah. beach like to uh -huh. get tan yeah no, but, uh, and answering your other question, have I ever, like, you know, felt discriminated against or, you know, insecure? No, like, I, I never felt insecure, you know, like, growing up, I saw a lot of American films, you know, and I saw a lot of white people, you know, and I always thought they were cool, you know, I thought they were normal people, you know, mm -hmm. like, uh, like, I never really saw a difference in race until I started getting older, obviously, you know, but... You know, like, I, you know, for me, it's cool. Like, I love all people. And if people don't like me, well, that's too bad, you know. <laughs> I just pray about them, you know, because that's not going to be, that's not good, you know, to have so much hate in your heart, you know. Because um, you can't help. You can't help what race you are. You, you can't, you know. So that's really unfair to hate somebody because of that, you know. Like, a black kid or a Mexican kid, we didn't, nobody chose their race. You're just born. You're born how, however. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah. I agree with you. Because we cannot yeah. change how how we look like, our appearance, you know. Because God yeah. already made it for us, you know. Like, since, exactly. since we were in the our mom's womb, you know. Like, our mom's womb. Now I cannot hear you again. What happened? Their tummies, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad, man. The quality. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Sometimes the quality of the video is really bad where it's not synchronized. I mean, the way you talk and the way it sounds like it's not matching at all, you know. Like for example, like your mouth your mouth is not moving, but I can hear the voice of yours, you know. Which is kinda kinda like terrible I guess in my opinion, but that's okay. No problem, you know. <laughs> Since it's kinda creepy. Since it's our first podcast or something, you know? Yeah. Also, <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. We shouldn't even care too much about what people think of us, you know? Because some yeah. people, they're, they're just have, have so much hate on their heart, you know? Their heart is evil and not pure, you know, when people bully. That's the reason why. Absolutely. Like, that's yeah. the reason why, mm -hmm. like, I try my best yeah. not to bully someone unless, you know, the the one we were talking about. But this car is really stupid, you know? Okay, that's good, yeah. 
Okay, cool. <laughs> stupid, stupid, just art. Yeah. It is, it's even like, Yeah, worse. I mean, Mitch, we could try just, uh... Huh? Like, even it's, it's getting worse, like, it's better if you just use your phone, but if you use your phone, I'm afraid that it will, you know, starting to interfere again, the audio. So... I mean, we could try it, and then if it sucks, then I'll just turn it off, and, uh, and I'll talk to, I'll, yeah, I'll just turn it off, and, like, we could just voice call if you want for a little bit, like how we were a couple nights ago, and just worry about the, about the podcast after I get my webcam, you know? Actually, this one is good, but it's, like, the bad thing is just sometimes it's not matching, like, I can't see your facial expression, like, for example, your mouth moving, but it's like no voice at all from you. Or it's like, I can hear your voice, but it's like, you know, I cannot even see you opening your mouth. And it's so creepy, <laughs> like you say, it's creepy. It's creepy, man. Right. Yeah, it's creepy. Yeah. But I don't know what, what to do, you know. But this card is the best because I, I don't know why I, I just don't really like to use the zoom you know the zoom yeah were we were you having any audio problems there there though audio problem yeah, on zoom no no it's just like I want uh, my our camera like stable you know like on the same size but on zoom like you you <coughs> Your camera is like the whole screen, and I'm just using, like my camera is just so small. When you use the zoom, like, the, can we change the, the yeah, camera? Yeah. Like, can we change the size of the camera or something on the zoom? Oh, uh, yeah, well, like, I guess we could try, you know, um, as I'm the host, so I'll probably, I probably could do that. Mm. Yeah, we could try, you know. Right, right. Can try. Okay, let's move. Let's move on to Zoom then. Peace, 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 peace. Peace, man, man. Say something, man. Bye. <laughs> bye, man. I said bye. <laughs> bye. I'll see you on this. Yeah. I'll